Hey guys and welcome back to my nighttime shower routine. I am so happy to be filming one of these. I have not done one in such a long time so I'm just gonna take you guys straight through it. So the first thing I'm starting off is by dry brushing. I do this as a exfoliating method onto my skin. It will make your skin super soft at the end of the process. I do it on all the parts of my body and then we're just going to hop right into the cleansing. So the first part of my cleansing, if you guys are new here, I always start out with a bar of soap. I'm going to start by wetting my skin first just to get that damp. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is we're going to start the cleansing. So I am using the soap by Olay. I love this one. I'm going to have the uh, flavor or the scent linked down in the description box just to let you know which one it was. But this is just a smooth, calming, fresh scent because that's the type of smell I was going for this particular night. I am going to start from the bottom and then I'm going to work my way up to the top. I love to clean my foot. I like to get in between my toes just because you guys know that... Um, if you work on your feet all day or if you have sweaty um, feet like myself, you do tend to sweat and then that also can lead into toe jams. So this is what I love to do. So if I'm just being very basic, if I'm in a rush, I got something to do very quickly i would just go over the cleansing portion of this part one time if i am feeling good and i feel like super dirty that particular day i am going to cleanse for about two or three times and as you guys can see i'm using this scrubber silicone i love this one i opted out from the loofah in this video but i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am still a super huge fan of the loofah i can't wait to get my fingers on some of those in the next video so i'm just gonna rinse that off and then we're going into the next cleanse and then we're going to hop on over to our body wash So this is the scent of the night, day or morning, whatever time you're watching this. I'm going in with this scent. This scent is super fresh. It's super clean. Um, I love, love Dove products. As you guys can see, I use them in most of my shower routines. But this one, I don't know. The consistency, it was great. It was giving thick. But when I took it off of my skin, I had like this um residue feeling like it left it, it didn't leave my body feeling super clean so that's the only thing about this particular body wash and i definitely don't think that i would be purchasing this again any other products you guys can recommend um for this particular line let me know but for this line i was not feeling it at all all the other body washes i definitely do love but this one i was not a major fan um it does leave you with the scent but the scent is very mild and not overpowering if you guys are not into heavy scents but as you guys can see it really left my skin clean but the residue feeling i just I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're going to move into one of my favorite parts of this whole process. It is my foot. Because my foot has been struggling, I don't know what's going on. I try to do these monthly, like, pedicures. And I also do, like, a mini pedicure, which I'm doing in the tub. But for some reason, I feel like I'm getting corn on my feet. And I don't understand why. So I think I'm going to up these to, like, every week. I'm going to do these. I love this scrubbing pad that I'm using. If you guys are interested in any of these products I'm using, I will have them linked to the bottom of my description in the bar underneath my Amazon storefront. So the product that I'm using, the cream, and then this little bar thing, the perfect combination to get smooth, soft feet. I promise you guys, every time I don't have to use one of those graters. I do think I um, did some research or I read up about it. They say that the graters are actually not good for your feet. So I don't know all about that. But this gives the after effect of using the grater, that bar. So you guys should definitely try out that combination. Then I'm going in with this lotion by Johnson's. And I love this just because it ties into the combination of the Olay soap I use the dove body wash just because all of the products used they're very soothing they're soft on the scent and then as you guys can see i'm using my favorite neutrogena body oil that is the sesame scent i don't know if they come in any other scents but yeah that one is top notch definitely recommend and i'm just going in with my facely hygiene routine sometimes i do it before sometimes i do it after as you guys can see i am using that product that is some sort of japanese skincare facial wash and i love it if you guys are in canada i purchased it from shoppers they come in all type of different colors but that's the one that i'm using and i promise you guys this leaves your skin so super clean and it just works magic and it's super affordable i think i purchased it for about four or five dollars and it's lasts me for about three months now i use it like twice a day i don't normally use that heart shaped spongy but this time i used it for video purposes then i'm going in with my favorite witch hazel if you guys didn't see or if you're new i use this in just about every one of my shower routines it leaves my skin so smooth so clean it also does wonders for different parts of your body like i also clean my airs out with this as you guys can see i bring it down to my neck just in case i missed anything while i was in the shower So now it's time to really get comfy as we're wrapping up this routine. I'm going to throw on my robe and then after that, I'm going in with this pumpkin face mask just because I love the scent of it and I just love how these masks make my face feel. I don't have this exact one on my Amazon storefront, but I do have similar ones. I leave this on for about 5 to 10 minutes, just depending on the night that I'm having. Make sure you get all of the excess liquid and you put that on the mask or you put it on different parts of your neck just to make sure you're getting the full amount of everything that's coming. Don't let that liquid go to waste. And then to wrap everything up, I just dried my face with a fan and then I'm finishing everything off with moisturizer. If you guys were going outside, like if this was in the day, don't forget to put on your sunscreen because I've started to use it a few months ago. And I promise you, it has been working wonders for my discoloration on the face. And it's just, yeah, it's a new thing that I'm trying out.
And just to feel a bit more bougier on this affordable skincare routine, I'm going to put on some eye patches, but I definitely did not like these eye patches. I also purchased these from shoppers as well. I think they were for about 5 or $6 for about 10 or 12 in the pack. And these eye patches, they kept on slipping off. And I've had good set in the past and they have not been like this.